Hello there dear YouTube friends. In this video, I will teach you guys on how to make this multi-step form in bubble.io. As you can see here, this form has multiple set of uh, other forms as well. For example, it starts from form 1 here and we click on next. It goes to form 2 and as well as form 3 here and as well as we can go back as well here. And as you can see here, this is just such an interactive way to uh, showcase your form. As you can see this, there's a progress bar on top here and which is which will be uh, directly uh, like makes the effect changes when we were to move from form 1 to form 2 and and that's what interactive is all about so let's get started by creating exactly like this in bubble.io so let's open a new project in bubble and all you have to do is just create a new uh, project and as usual just go to an empty project so in this case, I'm going to click on new app. It's going to type multi-step form. And this, no, yeah, I'm not going to use any templates, by the way. It's going to, it's going to uh, type something else. And yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's already been taken. It's going to change the name, something like this. Okay, now the app has been created. Now let's get started by creating uh, just one single, this is a simple page. And as you can see here, by default, you will be having uh, this. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, this is just a simple boilerplate where you will usually get. But let's uh, delete this and create a new, add a new page called Multi Step Form. And this is the page that we're gonna build our. Uh, multi step form itself. So, I'm just gonna create hmm. this case. I'm just gonna this is the page that we're gonna uh, play with and edit the whole create the whole workflow will be inside here. So, first of all, as usual, we need to take a group first. A group, for example, let's take this group and I'm gonna make like a rectangular shape like this. And as you can see here, the height of this page is not big enough so I'm just gonna drag it to the bottom and I'm gonna place this center by just right clicking on it and just uh, saying center horizontally as well as center it vertically as you can see here now it has been placed perfectly center and also I would like to make it a bit more uh, a bit more uh, thicker I mean yeah wider okay there you go so in this case this is the one that this is the the form itself so i like to like give some a uh, shadow to it let's say this is the group so in this case i would like to uh, create a new style for this particular form i like to say form the form itself and in this case i like to go and edit some of this gonna edit add some shadow to it just simple shadow would do as you can see i'm gonna give outside outside and i would like to give the horizontal offset to be zero and some increase some blur radius to eight and yeah let's go and see if it works okay this is already good so next thing we'll be adding is the uh the form itself yeah the next uh form form will be the one that we're gonna add uh yeah there are gonna be three forms that we will we will be like jumping from first form to second form second form to third form so those are the three forms that we'll be building inside within here and as usual let's create a container just for the form just to, just to store the three forms into one simple form container and we're gonna yeah that's what we're gonna call it a form container so go and grab a grab the group group tool and just gonna place it just like this here this is where we're gonna place our forms here and we're gonna name this group as uh, form container and inside this form container is where we're gonna place our forms so let's get grab another uh, yep another for, another group and inside 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 this form container we're gonna create another group for just to store the group just to store the groups for example like this and I'm just gonna place it right here and I'm gonna name it form one okay okay there you go so this is the one that we're gonna use 
to uh, store the forms. So let's uh, add the inputs, the buttons, let's and those stuff like that. Okay, so let's add the the title of the form, which is going to be uh, I'm going to name it form one. Okay, as you can see, here, this is form one, and let me just not this. Okay, okay, this is should be. Uh, I like to make the. I like to make make it a bit more bigger. Remove the style and I like to make it smaller so that it fits this small. Okay, there you go. Seems very small, but I'm just gonna add it a bit more. Okay, there you go. This is form one. And let's add okay, that's perfect. This is form one by the way. And let's add uh, the input for example uh, let's say let, let's say what let's say what other input can we find is that uh, let's say uh, in this case gonna put full name okay so full name will be our first input and then let's see what can can our next input be um, let me let, let me just grab the inputs first the input box okay this is how the input box will be so this is the first input. Just gonna make a copy of it and just gonna place it right here. Yep, I'm gonna place it right in the center. Okay, as you can see here, this is the form one, and we're just gonna uh, leave it as it is. So this is form one though. So we are done with the form one. So what we can do is that we can actually just make a copy of form one, and we're just gonna make a duplicate of this, and just gonna name the duplicate form two instead, and form three as well. So let's say this is form one. So as you can see here, you you find your group, you find your form one inside this particular elements tree. So this is form one here. So now let's get and uh, yeah, this is what you can do. What you can see. In order to like simply just copy and paste, just uh, just click on the group form one and copy, control C, and paste, uh, control V something like that. Okay, there you go. This is the this is a duplicate by the way. So as you can see, the duplicate has a different name. And since it's a duplicate, I it's, it its name is form one copy. So in this case, I'm gonna name it two instead. Okay. So as well as this, I'm gonna change this as well. There you go. Now you have form one and form two, and lastly form three will be just you just need to be doing the same thing. For example, let me just place it right in the center. Place it center horizontally and center vertically. Okay, nice. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna click on Control C again. Control C, and I'm gonna hide this for a while, and just gonna click on top of the. Uh, uh, form container is going to paste again okay there you go this is form this is a duplicate of form 2 by the way as you can see it's literally said form 2 copy I'm going to name it 3 instead same goes to here 3 okay and there you go now you have three separate forms have been created within the form container so this is the first step by the way so the next step will be adding buttons the buttons will be the one that uh, will be able to go to form 1, can go to form 2, form 3 and, and so on. So how do we do that? So let's get started by having the next button, next and previous button. Okay, so go go and get your button here. Just going to place it right here. And in this case, I'm going to name it next. Okay, there you go. And I'm just going to copy and duplicate of this. I'm going to place it right here. It should say pre uh, back you can, or you can see previous as well so what what does this means is that when I click on next it should go to form 2 and form 3 when I go, when I click on back it should go I mean come back to form 2 and form 1 so how do we do that is that basically we, are, we need to hide and show certain form only at, I mean when it's time for its turn turn to show for example like 
uh, let's say current is the first step so first step means form one should step form one should show so how do we do that so in this case uh, let me just off everything just hide everything by the way sorry hide everything okay so as you can see here uh, this is uh, one more thing that I would like to add inside this particular group is that it's called it's called a uh, step so by clicking on this particular group oh yeah I forgot to name the main group this group is called uh, uh, yeah my, yeah multi-step as you can see this is the main group so in this case I would like to uh, go I mean yeah this is the one I would like to add you need to go to here which is it's called element inspector when you click on I and you need to add a new custom state and yeah I think just just name it step and the state type is going to be number so the default value should be zero okay what I'm adding actually here is that this is something something to do with uh, increment and decrement the number of a certain number so let me, I'll, I'll just explain to you what a step means in a while so okay so first of all we just created something called as step and that step will be the one to indicate the number at for example let's say if I click on next the number will increase if I click on back the number should decrease and this number will be the one will be judging the the, the, the turn the turn of the forms to be uh, showing up so let's say uh, let me just get you simple by just making you simple like making life simple just gonna take get this uh, text here just gonna place it right here so I'm just going to place it right in the center. So let me just uh, remove this and place it right in the center. So what I'm going to place inside this text will be I'm going to I'm going to like dynamically uh, like like represent what is the value current value of the step. So by doing this, I need to go to insert insert dynamic data. I need to go to multi step forms step. Okay, so you can see here this is step is actually a value here. So as you can see here, the current value of the step, let me just go and give it a check. What is the current value of the step? You can see here, the current value of the step is zero because we because the default value is zero. So let's try to increase it and decrease it. Okay, so in order to increase the step, we need to click on next here. Yep start and edit, edit the workflow what we can do here we can actually uh, go to uh, element actions and go to set state and we need to go to use the same method as multi-step form here and same custom state is state and of course do the same thing multi-step forms uh, step and what would you like to do here is that I would like when I, when I click on next the button the number should increase so by clicking on more I need to look for plus button and plus one should be plus one rather okay so let's go and give it a check here see does it work so when I click on next so yeah it does work it it just adds up to one adds up one to each and every time single time I click on next so same have same should happen to back button here I mean but vice versa by the way so and click on next uh, click on back and edit and do the same exactly the same thing element action set state and look for the multi-step form step and again multi-step form forms step in this case I would like to minus or decrease one okay Let's give it a check again so let's say if I were to go to next one and I want to I want to come back to the next one eh, previous one okay yeah it works so it just decreases to minus values but we do, and we can actually we can actually stop it to minus going to minus values negative values okay so the next thing will be uh, showing making this condition of this form to sh to show up only when their turn has come so how do we do that so go to design and let's start from form one 
So form one should only appear, should only like uh, visible, only when it's turn, which is which is the first step, which is by default. Yeah, by default it should show. So that means um, let's say uh, element is visible on page load. Uh, let's not let's not make this. Uh, yeah, let's uncheck this, and the condition should be only when multi step multi step forms a step is zero and when it's zero it should show visible it should show okay there you go so th because because the reason why we, the multi step zero is zero because default value is zero so whenever the value has been zero then it should show the first form and yeah let's do the same thing for form two let's hide form one first and show form two click double click on it and let's make in each it is not visible on page load and do the exact same uh, condition which is multi-step form multi-step forms or uh, steps uh, is should only yeah it's only when the multi-step forms or uh, step is one yeah because when we add one the one will be this one will be the second uh, yeah second time second this is i mean one will be the second uh, turn to show for form two and yeah that's it for form two let's do the same thing for form three as well and let's not make it appear uh, visible on page load and let's make the condition to be multi-step form again multi-step forms step is two and it should show up okay let's give it a try okay let me just check do we have we checked okay as you can see here we have not made this visible yet so just gonna make it visible when when its turn has come so let's go and give it a check okay so as you can see here the, the, the counter here is zero so that's why form one is showing up when i click on next form two is showing up while form one has gone and the counter is one and I click on next again form 3 is showing up and it in the counter is 2 as you can see here that's how this is the basic idea of the whole multi-step form is as well and it should also be uh, responsive to back buttons so let's say if I click on back button so when it's yeah it went to form 2 and I click once more it went to form 1 okay this is the basic idea so let's uh, do more stuff for example like uh, like let's add like Make a condition when only when the when the back button uh, already reached form one. I mean the back button shouldn't be working anymore. Same goes to next button. When the next button I've already reached form three, it should already been submitting. The, the button should change to submit instead instead of next. So how do we do that? So just simple. Uh, you know, let's start with the back button. Okay. So the back button shouldn't be. Uh, okay. Let's say let's make a condition when current when multi-step forms step is zero so the button is isn't clickable obviously and as well as the button shouldn't be uh, I, I, I like to make it visible but i would like to make it like grayed out so how do i make the button grayed out so just change the color of the button that's how, that's how simple it is just make it gray like this like this and the font color should be as well okay only when the step is form zero okay let's give it a try okay so currently when it's in form one i can't go back because 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 this zero might lead me to negative values and yeah that's how it should work when i click on next now it's appearing and now it works as normal as you can see as a, as a, yeah it works as normal okay now next thing will be going for the next button so the next button shouldn't be uh shouldn't be like uh like working as a next button when we have reached the the, the final step which is uh step two so let's go here and
think I think instead of uh, having this, I would like to add another button. Example, in this case I would like to name it uh, submit. So the submit button will only appear when the current step. Uh, let's go to multi step. Multi -step. No, sorry. Step forms or step is yeah the last one will be two and it should show it should show only when when it's the last step and meanwhile it shouldn't be showing any like it's not visible most of the time okay let me just give it a try the first step second step and there you go okay that's how it should be and I need to do go and go back and let's give it a different color just for summit in this case uh, summit should be having a different color like sample green something okay this should be doing this should be okay 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 as you can see here uh, I would like to add some animation to all this form when when they um, when they transits from form 1 to form 2 form 2 to form 3 I would like to have like a animation. So how do I add an animation? Like I can actually just simply go to workflow, but uh, but then you need to you need to make sure when does it when does this animate should happen? It's either when we click on back or next. Let me just hide this next submit button. So let's double click on next. And in this case, what we can do here, this is the button next workflow. We can actually create another new action element action called animate so which particular uh, element that we would like to uh, animate is that it is the form container that we would like to animate so what animation that we would like to use is that we're going to use transition uh, sliding let's look for sliding slide left by the way yeah there you go transition slide left in and also same goes for back button transition uh, element action is animate and yeah form container and transition slide left in slide left in okay so let's give it a try click on next yeah that's how i really want that's how i really wanted it to be yeah and I click on back it should go like this and like that okay so we are almost done the last and the final step of this should be having a progress bar a progress bar to indicate to I mean to I think to have even more of an interactive way to indicate which particular form you are currently and how how many steps do you still have to complete the whole form so this is something really uh, like interactive way to improve your UX uh, stuffs your ux designs so how do i add this progress bar is that uh first of all i need to have like a, let's let's give it a look at the example that i made like it's like a number here which is comprises of a circle and that circle is like colored currently in okay let's give it a try let's give it this make the circle first uh i'm just gonna place it right here okay so i'm just gonna grab a circle I mean, you need to use shape by the way, there's no uh, circle, but just keep take the shape and just place it right here. Just make it square. I mean, it's always been a square. So I just, I'll just i be placing it right here. And now how to make it circle is that I just need to go to border. i uh, sorry, roundness. Just going to give maximum. In this case, maximum is going to be, it's going to give 100. 100 should do. Okay. So... <clears throat> So next thing I would like to do is that uh, you change the color. So the color of this when it's not for its turn is that it should be gray. So when when it's already been its turn, it should be blue. So the color is gray like this exactly. So the condition should be when the current step. So multi step forms step is uh, since this is the first one, I'm going to press it zero. When the multi step form step is zero, so the color background color 
So I would like to make the background color to be blue. This blue over there. Okay. And yeah. And as well as, as one more thing I would like to add is that uh, is the number within this uh, shape. So the, in this case, is the first step. So wait, let me just change the. Wait, let me just change the size of it as well. So in this case, ten should be enough. And let me just give it a try. As you can see here, this is uh, one, and and yeah, I need, to, I need to make the color of the one to be white when it's active state. So when it's when the current, this is uh, yeah, it's usual multi-step form again. So multi-step forms a step is zero. The color of the font should be white. So just yeah, here and just make it white. And yeah, I find that the shape is I mean the number one is very uh off. So I just need to increase the size to 18. And just gonna place it in the center. And just gonna increase the line spacing to place it center. And yeah, of course I want to increase the size even more, 24 it to this let, let me just place it and just refresh it let's see where does it located okay that's perfect by the way and next thing will be uh yeah number two and number three and so on so let's copy exactly like this I'm just gonna place it right in the center okay and it's gonna change the number when it should trigger it's this should be active only when the step is one yeah same goes to its this should be number two this should only show up when the state step is one okay let's give it let's give it a try There you go. And let's increase the number. Okay, that's nice. <coughs> As you can see here, I would like to keep this blue to be uh, still active because we are actually progressed from one. So this should be uh, like should have been blue as well. So let's because we have done this to because yeah we have done this is this is just to indicate that we have done one. Okay, so how do we keep one instead of putting uh, Instead of putting uh, is, I would like to put more than equals to. That's a better way. Yeah, more than equals to one. Same goes to here. More than equals to one. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so let's do the same thing. More than equals to one. Equals to one. Okay, nice. Okay, now let's do the same thing for number number three. Yeah. Place it right here. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be more than equals to two. In this case more than equals to two. And yeah, I'll have to make make this text to be three. Okay, let's give it a try. can see here I'm, I'm in the first step so click on next yep I have already done okay now next click one once more oh, okay there you go and yeah last but not the least we need to have like a progress bar so the progress bar should be like the one that inter interjoins all of this these three stuffs here okay how do I do that it's just need to go to uh, yeah it's a plugin by the way just need to install the plugin so it's called progress bar just it's a free plugin and you can just instantly install it in your bubble and yeah you can just re easily just make a use of it for example just yeah just go for the one which says the first one just click on install click done here go to design 
and yeah there you go you will be having it in your visual elements and just drag it and just place it right here yeah just just trying to make it longer okay that, that should be it okay nice so as you can see here this is the let me wait let me just uh, So I'm gonna I'm gonna place this right in between this tree, uh, this tree circles like this and like this and yeah I'd like to make <coughs> place this thing to be uh, behind them not in front of them so how do I do that it's just uh, just gonna place it bring to the back and there you go send it to the back. And next thing I would like to add is that the color of this. So the color should be like this, the same color of it. And of course, I would like to remove, yeah, this number, I mean, I won't be needing it. So just reduce the opacity of the number. So in this case, just uh, color, just gonna reduce opacity to none. Okay, sorry, not this, not this. This is, this is background style. Oh yeah, it's here. Okay, now the number has gone. Next thing will be, uh, yeah, it's a background color. The background color should be the same as this gray. So what is this gray? Is this gray? And just like we change the background color of the progress bar, is it's going to change it like this. Okay, and of course the, I mean, I mean there shouldn't be any borders. The borders are really uh, distracting the whole thing. Okay, this is how it should look like. So let me just go and look at the uh, output. Okay, but the number is not sure. Okay, yeah, number has been brought to back. Okay, let's, let me just uh, bring the number to the front, bring to the front, and same go to you, bring to the front. Let me just see the output again. Okay. As you can see here this is the this, this is the uh, the progress bar here just gonna click on next oh yeah okay okay the next thing we'll be needing to add the how much should we add I mean the the progress bar should be uh, should be dynamic to this uh, next button so it's a, it is a per percentage by the way so the percentage should comes from this multi-step form uh, this step so how do we just the same I think exactly the same thing just input the multi-step forms a step and since it is uh, it starts from zero and then plus one plus two plus one so all you need to do just need to times it by fifty percent so times fifty there you go so. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on next and okay. clicks on next one. Okay, there you go. There you go. You guys, you guys have yourself a multi step form in bubble. So, all you need to do is just need to link this input to your database. And once you have done with that, just need to click on submit. And yeah, that's all, guys. Thanks for watching this entire video of uh, multi step form creation in bubble. And this is really simple as you can see here I just made it instantly using bubble and yeah hope you guys will meet uh, will learn something new from this particular video and yeah we'll be meeting we'll be meeting in our next upcoming uh, any sort of uh, bubble tutorial or any coding tutorial that you would like to me to teach you on how to do that okay thank you guys for watching this entire video till the end and until the next episode see you guys and peace